Environment Canada is releasing a report today on single-use plastics in this country. Scientific evidence that's expected to back up the federal government's plan to ban single-use plastics as of next year. So we're talking about straws, plastic containers, lids like that, bags. Uh, that's one of the most visible components, of course. One of Canada's largest grocery chains is taking action on that front. And let's go to Brett Ruskin, who has more on the story from Halifax. Good morning, Brett. And good morning, Heather. Well, I'm here at a Sobeys store here in Halifax in the North End, and I want to talk to you about bags because we are used to seeing these plastic bags, the crunchy noise. They're kind of a staple. People use Sobeys bags or other types of bags for all kinds of things other than transporting groceries. But these plastic bags that we see all over the place are gone as of tonight. So this is the last day of the plastic bags that Sobeys are going to be available. After that, starting tomorrow, you'll have to bring your own bags or you can purchase bags uh, 10 cents for paper bags, 25 cents for these uh, kind of fancy new, really sturdy, reusable bags, apparently good for 15 uses, or uh, a little bit more expensive, 99 cents uh, for these larger reusable bags. So Sobeys phasing out plastic bags uh, in advance of the ban that's going to be taking effect uh, here in Nova Scotia. There's already been a, a plastic bag ban on Prince Edward Island as well. We've heard from the Sobe stores at Prince Edward Island that 90% of people are bringing their own reusable bags instead of using the paper bags. So that's great news from the island and a good indication as to how people might react to this plastic bag ban when it takes effect here in Nova Scotia as well as across the country. Heather. Environment Canada, I was mentioning, Brett, is expected to uh, issue a report on this. Any early indication what it's going to say? Not yet. So we're still waiting to see exactly what Environment Canada is going to say. It's, it's going to be basically the, the raw data, the scientific data behind their study into uh, the use and the implementation of uh, plastic, a single-use plastics ban. This is kind of the first step uh, in advance of developing the legislation that uh, the Trudeau government has promised to introduce a ban on single-use plastics by next year. So this is the first step. We'll get the, the science behind that decision later on today from Environment Canada. Heather. Thank you very much.